Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. You're gonna look into Job chapter 2 for a little bit, and let's see, let's see some of the stuff that happened there. So, Job didn't curse God after the first round. Um, some of the stuff that I read about the other day. Uh, he lost, he lost everything. I didn't read it in detail, it's in Job chapter 1. It's not an incredible, Job chapter 1 and 2, not an incredibly long read, 10 to 15 minutes for most people will probably suffice to read both chapters. It's not incredibly long, but to look at what to look at what Job went through is it's close to unbelievable how bad it was. So he's lost everything. He still hasn't cursed God. So Job chapter 2 verse 4, so Satan answered the Lord and said, "Skin for skin." Yes, all that a man has, he will give for his life. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand, but spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with painful boils, from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took for himself a potsherd with which to scrape himself while he sat in the midst of the ashes. I want to um, quickly add in, I looked up what boils were before I read this message, or before I preached this message, and when it says he got a pot shirt and was scraping himself, that actually has to do with the nature of what boils are. They're like, they're like really, really painful. Zits isn't a word used in any medical dictionary. I'm using that word because it's red, it's swollen, and there's pus in it. It's not a zit, but what it is, it's this very painful infection in the skin. Essentially, a whitehead is the same thing. The pus that comes out is an infection, and the pus in a boil, I'm, I don't know why I'm looking at my hand here, it could, he was covered from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. It could be anywhere on the body. But a boil is a red, painful lump where some bacteria has gotten into the pore of the skin, usually around a hair follicle, and it's, but it, instead of just being a whitehead, it's incredibly painful. And he was covered in these things. So the potsherd with which to scrape himself, what he was probably doing was called lancing the boil. Um, I just want to go out of the, my way to say he, I don't think he was um, pulling some emo move and cutting himself because he was in so much pain. He was probably lancing the boils because once you lance a boil, once you pop it and get the pus out, the pain immediately subsides and there is relief. Well, he was covered in these things. And he probably wasn't getting much relief, but by at least popping the ones that he could pop, apparently they um, gestate for several days, and eventually the white, um, the, the center becomes soft, and you start seeing the whiteness under the skin where the pus is, and once you pop it, um, the pain in that area subsides. And so he was covered in these things. And then in verse 9, Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God, and shall we not accept adversity? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Anyone who says, compares himself to Job in their suffering, I've always thought that was a little bit foolish. Right now, if someone said something like that, I'd be like, Shut up, you idiot. You have no idea what you're talking about. He literally lost everything all of his possessions, except for, I guess, the home he lived in. He lost all of his possessions. He lost all of his children in one day. And then soon after that, he's covered in an infection from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. He has a body-wide infection. And then his wife, who's left him, tells him to curse God and die. And I, I can't imagine the level of betrayal that Job felt when she said that to him. He, he's lost everything. Now he's even lost his health. He's lost feeling good. Um, boils also apparently come with a, a fever sometimes, um, as well as extreme pain. And fevers, of course, bring about great weakness to the body. So he, he's probably feverish. He's probably weak. He's in great pain. And then his wife, who's left him, says, give up on your integrity, curse God, and die. And he has to rebuke her and put her in his place in the middle of his suffering. I have never, ever known anyone to have suffered half as greatly as Job. I don't care if you're going, I'm going to be very blunt here. I don't care if you're going through cancer. I don't care if you're going through great pain. If you have even a single person who loves you and who isn't a complete moron, you have more than Job had. 
I don't care what it is you're suffering. I have never heard of anyone suffering as much as Job suffered. Um, don't compare yourself to him lightly. And if you are going through something horrible, like I just picked cancer because that seems to be like the one horrible thing that people choose, me included. If you are going through something terrible like that, I just want to encourage you, you haven't been through the worst of it. It is terrible. And you may end up dying. You're st it's still very likely you have not suffered as much as Job did. You haven't lost everything. Even if you end up losing your life, you haven't lost everything like he did. And he didn't end up losing his life, but he knew the Lord. And for those of us who do know the Lord, we do have something past this life. And death is not something that, even though it can be a bit scary at the exact same time, we don't really need to fear death if we know Jesus Christ. So think twice before you think you've got the worst of it. I seriously doubt you're suffering the worst more than anyone else on the face of the planet. Pretty sure, jo pretty sure Job has you beat hands down, especially in comparison to a lot of the first world problems we have. It's absolutely nothing compared to what Job had to suffer. So this was kind of a, th this message was a perspective check, you know, be Think twice before you compare yourself to Job. Think twice before you think you got the worst of it. Chances are pretty much 99.99% you don't. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.